of interplanetary craft Calling occupants of interplanetary most extraordinary craft back to episode 2 of Majority Report. We are uh, floating in space after having quite a traumatic experience. Our crew of brand new cadets um, was ambushed by Klingons and our captain was brutally murdered in front of us and our ship was nearly destroyed trying to save the Klingon vessel, the SS Breakeven, which was used as bait by the uh, Klingons. So we're picking up where we left off. Um, we had been uh, ordered to head over to the Pollux system and investigate the SS Kittimer and see if they needed any help. So that's what we're going to do next. Um, all right. Flores set course for the Pollux system. Alright, moving to warp. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Very good. Set a course for the Kittimer. There she is. Uh, move us forward at 75% impulse. Why haven't they responded to our hails? Uh, send a short range hail. Ooh, let's cut through that static. Can you boost the signal? Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary adjustments. Understood, Tavrell. Make it so. Ah, Captain Volog. Captain Taggart? What are you both doing here? I'm not Captain Taggart, sir. I'm in command of the Dovahkiin. Captain Volok ordered me to come with him to your location. Always good to follow the orders of your superior officers. Indeed. Do you know what happened with your communications? These cadets were the unfortunate victims of a Klingon ambush. Captain Taggart is dead, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Renown was escorting them back to Earth's space dock, but when we could not raise the Kittimer, I deemed it imperative to alter our course and assess the situation. Captain Yim, what is your status? I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system. And if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the anomalies. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. The Renown has the largest science team, so I recommend we send our data there for analysis. Any questions? No questions, sir. I'm confident that my crew is up to the task. You're quite confident for a cadet. You remind me a bit of myself when I was an ensign. Of course, I wasn't commanding a ship back then. Let's see how you perform before you start claiming that chair full time. Understood, sir. Press right on the D-pad to set your ship's power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, auxiliary, or speed. Oh, cool. Uh, what do we want? Speed, I guess. Right, diverting power to engines. Alright, crew, let's go investigate the uh, probes, gather some data. Alright, looks like the first one's over here in this glowing green cloud. Alright, approach the cloud and take us down to 25% impulse, Flores. Alright, let's 
scan point alpha. Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Hmm. Well, let's continue on to point beta and see if we can infer anything after we have a second piece of data. Uh, take us to 75% impulse again, move us out of the cloud of gamma radiation. a little bit. Alright, slow us down, Flores. Scan point beta. Kittimer here. Are you seeing the same gamma radiation levels that we are? I'm not mm -hmm. sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. I've determined that it's a problem with our sensor's tachyon settings. My chief science officer, Commander Davis, had suggested the same thing, but it seems you're already aware of it. Good work. We'll perform a reverse tachyon pulse wave and see if that solves the issue. Report your findings once your final scan is complete. Understood. Alright, more final scan. Point gamma up ahead. Move us through the cloud, Flores. Alright. Approaching point gamma. Deflector dish is realigned for reverse tachyon pulse wave, sir. Excellent. Scan point gamma. Picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! Warp. The board! Oh no! Engine's at full. Divert power to shields. Get us out of here. USS Dovahkiin requesting assistance. Flores, lock onto the board ship and see if we can damage it with phasers. Fire when ready. Fire photon torpedo if you can get a lock. Disabled the Borg probe ship. Oh, no, the Kittimer is under attack. To activate and deactivate full impulse. All right, divert power to engines. And give us full impulse, Flores. Twenty kilometers away. Slow us down and divert power to weapons. Fire at the probe, Flores. medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. 
I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. Emergency medical hologram, give me a situation report. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. Can you hold out on your own? We have problems of our own to deal with. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. <sighs> Captain Volok, what should we do? The Borg were brutally efficient on the Kittimer. The emergency medical hologram may be in command simply because no one else is fit to do so. The Borg have not been seen in the Alpha Quadrant in decades. Their arrival cannot simply be a coincidence. However, I hesitate to speculate without the full data from all of the probes. I see. What do you need us to do? I will send teams to aid the Kittimer. You will have to finish the scans. We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. You must also inform me if you or your crew are unable to continue. The Borg evoke a strong emotional response that can rattle even trained Starfleet officers. A crew of cadets that have already survived a Klingon attack may be unable to cope. Good thinking. Flores, what is our status? We're scared. We all studied Admiral Janeway's Borg tactics, but no one thought we'd have to use them so soon. It's good that the Renown and Kitama are here, but I know we need to be ready for the day when we're alone against the Collective. The counselors are already working with the crew. Do you want them to convey a message from you? Yes, tell them that we are Starfleet officers now. We don't have time to be afraid of the Borg. Understood. I'll give the crew your message. How are you holding up, Captain? I'm still getting used to being Captain. I wasn't expecting the Borg. You look like you belong in the Captain's chair. <laughs> I just wish you could have gotten there under better circumstances. Yeah. I'm sure that Captain Taggart would be proud of how you've kept us going. I'll set a course to retrieve the launched probe. Yes, and thank you, Elisa Flores. Alright, we're gonna have to complete the Kittimer scans. Right. Up this way, approach the next Gamma Cloud, Flores. Full impulse. Let's get this done. Do not need any more Borg probe encounters. the scan. Right. I think we should transmit the data so that the science ship can begin their analysis. But pull us out of the gamma radiation cloud first, Flores. Alright, full stop. Transmit the data, and then divert power to shields, just in case any more Borgs show up. We have your data, and our science team is analyzing it now. Very good. What is the status of the Kittimer? Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? Well, can we use the Kittimer to help analyze the data? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. Huh. Agreed. Can you help the Renown analyze the data we've accumulated in the system? I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Well, let's see what we can determine. Detecting more transwarp signatures. Alright, impulse power to full. Shields at maximum. Probes. Lock on and open fire for us. Shields at full. Two. Shields holding. 
ain't on torpedoes now. More aboard! I don't know if we're ready for this. More. Where are they now? Multiple board warp signatures detected. Oh my gosh. It's an invasion force. By the prophets. It's a Borg invasion. We're outnumbered. There's no way we can. Pulse engines to full. Try to get us out of the danger zone for us. Wait. Starting now? We're gonna direct our fire at that board sphere for us. Move us over. Full impulse. Again, opening fire. Salvo of photon torpedoes now. as we see it. The Borg are using the Pollock system as a staging area for a larger invasion. Long-range sensors are already detecting inbound transwarp signatures. Oh no. The most likely target for a first strike is the Vega system. There is a civilian colony there, and if the Borg could take it by surprise, they would have large numbers of new drones at their disposal. We cannot let that happen. What is the status of the Kittimer? The Kittimer was badly damaged and there are many casualties. Captain Yim is gravely injured, but he will recover. We are still working on triage and restoring the Kittimer's critical systems. This leads me to our next course of action. Yes? You must go to the Vega colony and warn them that the Borg are coming. Very well, what about you? The Renown is better equipped to hold off further Borg attacks and assist the Kittimer. It is logical for us to remain here. We will delay the collective, but you must warn the colonists at Vega. Gulp. Can you stop the Borg? This is not a matter of can, cadet. It is a matter of must. We must buy you as much time as possible. Once we are no longer in a position to help, we will stage a tactical retreat. You should have enough time to warn the colony. I will attempt to summon additional ships to assist but you cannot wait for them to arrive. Understood. We'll set a course for Vega. And Captain, good luck. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Yes, let's leave the system. Set course for Vega, Flores. Engage warp drive. Shields up, red alert. Come on, Cortana, get out of here. All right, looks like, did we make it to the Vega system for us? Where are we? 
tail Volok to report. Turn in completed missions. Oh, yeah, I'd like to do that. Give me some experience. It is imperative that you warn the colony at Vega of the impending attack. We will do what we can to hold off the Borg here in Vega and repair the Kittimer. Live long and prosper. All right, I got some more experience. Expertise. A neutrino deflector array, Mark II. Photon torpedo launcher, Mark I. A science console with a shield emitter amplifier, Mark II. Tomet. What is that, a staff member? And captain power of evasive maneuvers. Congratulations. You are in sector space. Travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space. Okay, I got to Vrel now. My Vulcan science officer. Whoa, look at that star. Woo! Go to my captain's log for a second. That'd be system to warn the colony there of the impending org attack. It's a dire warning. All right, how do I do it? It says dire warning, go to the Vegas system. Where's the Vegas system? I thought that's what I just did. Kinger system. Pollux system. Pollux 4. Is there some kind of galaxy map I can use? If I do a transport action, I won't let me do it. Where's Vega? Come on, guys. It should be a little more obvious than this. Here we go. Okay. Map of the Orion sector. even in the Orion sector. Looking for Vega. Looking for Vega. There's Vulcan. There's Saul. Romulus. Wouldn't be that far away if they're using this place as the staging area for the Borg Assault. It's got to be somewhat close to... Oh, there's Vegas System. Right in front of my stupid face. Okay, so how do I go there? Plot of course. Whoa, here we go. See it. Right, traveling through the planetary system. Past a variety of stars. away. Probably don't even notice me. Oh, there's another player. The USS Discovery. 
is a massively multiplayer online game, so there's lots of other people around. Oh, look at that! I made it to the Vegas system! Looks like a, a white giant. Quite a star there. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna begin the assimilation of the innocent mission here in the Vegas system. Good job, Flores. Made it. We arrived before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. <laughs> what are your orders, Captain? We'll hail the colonies. We have to warn them. Tavrel managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting her through now. On screen. Greetings, Captain. Is there something I could do for you today? The Borg are on their way to this. You need to start evacuating. Your signal is breaking up. Did you say the Borg? What about them? The Borg are on their way. Mayor, you have to evacuate. Tops, what just happened? I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something Curses. is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby. It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger and warn the colony. Uh, why is everybody always blocking our communications? Very well, set a course for the satellite. There it is, long range orbital relay satellite. Take us in, Flores. Full impulse power. satellite. Alright, begin boosting our signal with the satellite, Flores. Tyrell. Our hails are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your order, sir. Ugh. Alright. Thanks, Tyrell. Zarva, can we get transporter locks on any of the colonists? Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can boost the gain, though. All right, do it, but hurry. I think the Borg will be here any... Transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Captain. The oh, Borg are by here. Oh, the We've got to defeat this Borg invasion force. All right, move us in towards the signal. Those civilian force. ships are right in the Borg's path. We have to help them. for power to weapons. Open fire. Onto that Borg escort probe. Open fire. Slicing this one up pretty 
pretty nicely with just our phasers. Captain, I have short-range communications. Long-range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Renown, sir. Oh, what do I do? My first big dilemma as a captain. Do I go it alone and try to fight off Borg landing parties? Or... Do we <laughs> be prudent and back to the renown? Since we're the only Starfleet vessel in the system. We're just cadets. I don't think we're cut out to face a Borg landing party on our own. Let's just rescue as many colonists as we can. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. Oh, jeez. We send a message to those ships. We've got to defeat them. Civilian ships, you are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. To these All ships. civilian ships are safely warped out of the system, Captain. Back, cripple it. Should do it. Captain, the Borg have landed, and the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. All right, we're gonna beam down, but listen, we get in, we get out, fast. Ooh, my first away team. Do I have options here, or is it just gonna be me and Flores? All right, I've got my personal shield, phaser pistol, phaser rifle. She's got a phaser pistol and a personal shield, is that it? Can I take Tavrell with me? I guess not. Standard issue phaser is what Elisa has. Tavrell has a stun beam. I don't want to just stun these Borg. Zarva. Alright, we'll take Elisa because she's a tactical officer. She probably knows how to handle herself a little better than the others. Alright, let's do it. I'm ready. Beaming down to the surface.
correct, and according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by the Borg. At what? the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough, the interference is affecting the ship's transporters. Ugh, they just got here like a minute ago, and they already took over half the planet. Alright, understood. We will manually tag any survivors we find for transport. Any questions? No, sir. I'll follow your lead. Alright, let's get moving. Alright. Some strange planet. What are they doing? Some kind of orbital bombardment? Alright, Flores, let's see if we can find any survivors. Let's head up this hill. Phaser's at the ready. Came down in the middle of a forested canyon, or what is this? That's one of those Borg ships from orbit. Are we too late? Those landing Thanks. ships don't just carry drones. They can pump nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon. Not good. All right, are you guys civilians? I'm gonna tag you. Beamed out some civilians. Excellent work, Flores. Let's see if we can find any more. Alright, some kind of uh, structure up ahead. Keep an eye out for drones. Civilians over there. Ten o'clock, Flores. Leave the gate closed. We're gonna get you out of here by transporter. All right, everybody, get ready. We're gonna beam you out. As I figure out how to tag you. Thank you. We didn't know if anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. But we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them. All right, we'll see what we can do. All right, civilians are safe. See if there's any supplies we can get out of here. Cool. Energy dampening armor. Take those. Alright, now we gotta open the gate and go save Administrator Post. Arrival. Activate console. Colony gate. Okay, here we go. She gave me the code. Should do the trick. Go. Ready for anything, Lisa. Oh no. Or drones. We're too Take late. them out. Oh, we simulated her. Oh, what was that? Ahead. Self determination is irrelevant. Screw you, drone. You guys okay? You're still alive? I'm gonna tag you for transport. Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here right now. Dovahkiin, a few people to beam up here. Put this one. One more, Dovahkiin. There we go. Alright. Uh, where to next, Flores? See any likely directions? So there's a... 
congregation over there. Borg and civilians. Borg! Leave them alone! Or be destroyed. Four more to beam up. Right, more over here. On Flores, more drones. Take them out. Take out the tactical drones first. Got shields. Whew. Good work. All right, well, injured civilians. Don't worry, folks. We're going to get you out of here. Or to beam up, Dovahkiin. They're injured. Get sick bay ready. Alright, they've got all the civilians. Still no sign of the Renown or the, or the Kittimer yet. It's not good news. Could use some backup here. I can't believe we're the only Starfleet vessel that was arranged to show up and help. The ones are beaming out. I rolled. Alright, some defenders. Let's go help them out. Administrator will post. Glad you made it. I apologize for calling. Nope, no problem. I apologize for Coles putting a rifle in your face. If it wasn't for him, the Borg would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? I wish we were, but we're the only ones here. The Dovahkiin is in orbit. I see. Then it's true. Vega is doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, there is more to do. Many citizens are hiding in their homes. We cannot abandon them to the Borg. We can rescue them, but something is blocking our transporters. I know. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found and getting them safely transported to your ship. That can't be everyone, though. No, there are dozens more hiding out in the buildings. And I, a pattern enhancer, will do the trick. With that, we can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. But first, I'd like to offer you some equipment. Vega is, was, a trade colony. And this gear was intended to go to Starbase 65. I think you need it more. Alright, we'll take a kit and uh, set up the pattern and you have my thanks. Great things. Science right core. All right. Receive the kit your profession. Press the menu button and open your inventory under the ship and crew heading. Select the kit in your inventory to equip it. With the kit equipped, you will have new abilities that you can perform in ground combat. stuff I got. Here we go. 
medical tricorder. Let's equip that. Let's see what it means. Uh, heals an additional 51.6 hit points. Removes all expose effects. Plus 20 all damage resistance for 4 seconds. 6 second re... Okay, let's do that. Put that armor on too, huh? Didn't I just get some armor? Ground combat. Yeah. Put that on and um, make Flores prepare. There we go, we should be better off. Alright, Flores on here. Shields for the transporter, sir. I will need to raise them at the first sign of Borg ships. Fair enough. Thank you, Tabral. Um, right. Administrator, the pattern enhancer seems to be working. The pattern enhancers are working, and not a moment too soon. I can hear the Borg moving this way. I need you to signal the citizens to come here for transport. I'll do that. How long do you think you can hold off the Borg? As long as we need to, I guess. Give the signal. Let's go as fast as we can. Remember when we thought fighting a crazed Klingon was the worst thing that could happen today? Enemy target shooting. What? Borg? Get him! Down. Another group of civilians has beamed to the ship, Captain. Right, shields are back up, but I'm injured now. It's blaster fire. A little bit behind cover. Hang in there, Tabrell. We'll be the mayor. Thank you for your. No, it was in pay of everyone. Those you did save will be forever in your debt. Finished yet? Colez, come with me. Glad to do anything I can. I was born taken without a fight. All right, let's get moving and open the. You're gonna. And so. Disable the come out. Uh, the readings are coming from this direction. Right, move it, move. It is futile. The transport inhibitor. See how distance really is. Take What's the word? System. I'm gonna go with. Woo! You know, you wanna watch where your things. Suck on this one. One. Ah, fire on one of them at a time. We don't have much time. We need to get back as soon as possible. All right. Dovahkiin, beam us out. Ooh. We're brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. 
Communications are still jammed, so we can't reach the Renown or the Kittimer. The immediate problem is the civilian system. It's a huge trading outpost. There are always traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. All right, reconfigure the satellites in the system to send an automated warning of some sort? Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get a signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. All right, sounds like a solid plan. Next satellite. All right, let's get out there. A ship full of... Not a very big ship. People laid it down there on the surface. All right, engines. All right, Torres, as soon as we get with satellites, see if you can reconfigure it. Inbound. Don't think the Borg like around. Shields. Fire up. Get some in the hull. Gotta continue reconfigure lights. Let's get the heck. Port of engines again. decide to jump on me again if they see me reconfiguring this one. Let's transfer power to shields right off the bat. Sponder. <laughs> Never thought I'd wish I was back at the account for the Astro. What's that? Don't like the looks of that. Work sphere. Great. Alright, move us in nice and easy. Shields at max. Lasers, Torres. Fire. Ship tag. And I can't tell if they're friend or foe. Thanks for talking. Let's head out along really. Maybe from there we can motion. Warning. Ship on. Come on, prop is a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Quite a cute Zucko. Wow. Oh. Finally. Use a little help here. Here. And the Renown. Armitage. Builds up. That'd get us away from the cube.
held off what in Pollux and sent them out to Starf. These were others will be as soon as they can. Glad to see you, Captain Volar. There's no way we could tell. You have handled things well. Excellent thinking on the satellite beacons. Signal as soon as we arrived in the system. No attempt to go? I will be discussing that with the other captains here. Priority is to protect the have on board as well as to ensure the safety of your Summer will return to stock with you. You arrive, report to Admiral Quinn. He will have more in for you. Your crew well would make a fine addition to your senior. Alright. We leveled up. Looks like we got a new crew member finally. Alright, welcome aboard, Colez. Captain Vola told us to get to Earth Space Dock. I think he's right. We Oh, go to Earth. Yeah, I think he's right too, Flores. Let's uh get out of the thick of the action for a second, since we're all still brand new cadets and we've been bike murdered and fended off a Borg cube as assimilated an entire planet. Alright, here we are. Back at Earth's dock. A bit. Alright, who do we have here? Transporter chief. Um Chithras, can you direct me to the Admiral's office? Where? He wants me to go down the left, turn left, go down the curb. Okay, so two lefts. Curved hall. See the office. I think we're going to wrap up episode two of Party Report uh, right here. So we finally Earth after all that. Okay, and, uh, about to go with the general. So tune it out again for watching everybody. Tune in more next time. Next, crazy spacefaring Melos.